All right, welcome back to Bloodborne, everyone. I went out and did a bit of farming, got some souls, everything like that. I leveled myself up around four to five times, so I'm level 70 now. Most of it went into strength, actually. And with that strength increase, I have gotten the Beast Cutter up to, I think it's like Beast Cutter plus seven right now or some shit like that. So it's not quite as high as the Stake Driver or anything, but with the increased strength and skill uh, scaling, I'm pretty sure the Stake Driver will still give me the most damage and bang for my buck. But this has way more range. And I'm gonna use this until like, you know, I'm getting like really tilted and just need flat damage and then I'll probably use the stake driver. But I was exploring and I went in here and found a guy, that guy, with a big gun. And it kind of terrified me. So I decided just to, I'm just running in here and, ah! Okay, okay. Okay, I uh, I didn't know this thing was in here. Oh my god. Holy shit, I thought it was just the hunter. I thought it was just the hunter. Oh my god. Oh shit, dude. Okay, wow. I don't know what the hell that thing is. Okay, this that's this is really this is really annoying. Oh shit, wait. Are you not attacking the hunter? Are you only attacking me? Yeah. Okay. Alright, we're we're gonna go back and we're gonna try that again. Maybe. Uh, uh, okay, so, so, <laughs> so, like, I, I only saw the hunter, and I was like, oh, I should probably do this for, like, the actual video, because maybe he drops something cool, and, and shit like that, and then I, I, I didn't realize, I saw the item, so that I'll get the item in case I die, and I didn't realize he had, like, a smaller version of the Blood Starved Beast in there, so we're gonna try and kill just the hunter this time around. I'm obviously a little bit farther away than I need to be from that area, but it's fine because when I die, I can just go and, uh, you know, kill good old blood bro over here. Whoops. Good blood vials, thank you very much. And then run past the witch. This beast cutter uh, weapon, though, is pretty goddamn cool looking. Just the way you do the weapon transformations combined with the fact that it's like a heavy whip. It just, it just looks awesome. It really does just look awesome, and so I thought it'd be really cool to go ahead and use the thing. I think I have like a pretty similar, um, oh wait. Yeah, my strength and skill are both like around 26, 25, give or take. So because of that, the stake driver will no doubt be the stronger weapon because it has a, a descaling in both in which the beast cutter only has a descaling in strength and an E in skill. But I'm cool with it. I hate these things. Out of my way, please. Please don't spit your shit at me. It's good to spit the hit shit at me anyway, but you know, I asked, I said please, so maybe it, it'll listen. Okay, it's like, it's like weirdly rotating on me. Oh, there's so many, I hate these things. I actually need to regen my stamina. And, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. All right, so I'm not gonna run past uh, the hunter this time. I'm actually just gonna fight the hunter. That's my blood echoes. I didn't drop that many. I only dropped like, yeah, 6,000, give or take. So, yeah, so, this guy is like, kind of an asshole. And I don't know, ow. Okay, he is kind of an asshole. Ow. Damn it, I thought he was gonna attack me. Hopefully that blood starved beast doesn't make his way over to me anytime soon. Well, I got this one off. Wow, he has a lot of health. Shit. You gonna shoot at me now, or...? Yep. I feel when the hunter you have to fight here has a fucking Gatling gun. The good news is I'm pretty sure he can't, uh... He can't, like, you know, visceral attack me. Because I don't think you can parry with that thing. 
If you can, then, then shit, I'm using that weapon ASAP. Uh, okay. Luckily, I got those blood vials and shit from the blood vial bro. I'm gonna try this. Oh, it did work. Oh, I wasn't close enough on that one. Damn it. There we go. This thing just has, like, a lot of range. The, um, the whip form heavy attack in Beast Cutter. Or in, in yeah, whip form on the Beast Cutter. Oh, shit, I forgot he can heal himself, too. God damn it. That's, like, so much of the damage I just did to him gone. Damn it. Oh, I might die from this. Where's that numbing mist? I don't think I have it. Damn it, I always parry at the wrong times. Come on, start firing your gun, please. Oh, I need- okay. I'm gonna try and place Numbing Mist. Do I have any of it? I don't. Shit! Whoa! Are you kidding me?! God damn it, I'm out of numbing mist, so he's just gonna keep healing himself too. Damn it! Ah! That's annoying! That guy's a little shit! I don't like him. I don't like him at all. He's really hard to kill and he's a little shit. Fuck that guy. I'll come back for him later. I'll go- I'll go get him later. I'll, for now, I'll just... Uh, no, he- I have, I have souls over there. Alright, one more try. One more try. I'm gonna do the stake driver, though, because I feel like it's just a better decision. It just does more damage. And then we'll go back to the beast cutter later, but... I don't know, for 1v1 duels, I feel like this may be a better idea. At least for now. I like the beast cutter's, like, heavy whip range. It's good. It's just... I don't know. It's kind of problematic at the same time. Thank God for Blood Bro over there. Blood Bro is just the best guy ever. He helps me out with all of my major issues. Don't like having to run all the way up here, but I mean, that's what you gotta do, right? Then we're gonna try him one more time, and if I lose to him this time, again, then I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to uh, um, do the living failures again. And then we'll just move on to just do the living failures. And I'll come back to that guy when I have a few more, uh, a few more levels on me. Alright. So, let's make our way along here. Make our way through here. Okay, that hit me. Oh, God. What the fuck? You knocked me down? I've never been knocked down by weird spit before. Run, just gonna run, just gonna run, just gonna run. And I'm on the carriage. Okay. Alright, so let's try this again, but this time now that I have the uh, stake driver. Okay. What's up, nerd? The fact that you are using this Gatling gun is so annoying. Okay, I didn't think that would hit me. I did pick up my blood echoes? What the fuck? Asshole. There we go. There we go, that's damage. There we go. Just by just parry spam the fuck out of the guy, because that's all I can really do at the moment. I felt like he was going to start using his Gatling gun, that's why I did that. Man, the R1 spam is real! Oh, come on, can I just... Oh, thank God. All right, back to the Beast Cutter. What'd you drop for me? Holy shit, he dropped the actual gun. Oh, I didn't think he actually dropped that. Oh, yeah, I got the, the shield, by the way. How much... Oh, I don't have enough strength, do I? 28 strength. Yeah. Never mind. I'm using a Hunter's Torch in place of that shield. I tried using the shield earlier, and it's pretty garbage. All right, so now I got this... Yes! 
Oh, I wrote this to have the Hunter's Torch out. Hey, buddy. A little spooked? Ah. Uh, it's called the Beast Gutter for a reason. Ooh, Blood Gem. Yeah, what the big guy drop? Antidote? I don't know. Okay, here comes Blood Starved Beast 1.5. Well, if he is Bloodstar Beast 1.5, he should be extremely easy to uh, parry. That's what Bloodstar Beast 1.5 pretty much did. I rose the gun out! That would have been tremendously awkward. Yeah, he is still pretty easy to parry. Okay, that was awkward. Come on, do your weird attack again. I missed that one. Awkward. Again. Holy shit! There we go. There we go. Wow! I... I took so much damage from that. It's so hard to see in here. Yeah, it's just... Blood Star Beast was just parry bait last time I fought him. Except that time right there. That time I messed up three shots. I messed up three shots, but that's okay. It's dead now. Thank you very much. Damp Blunt Hinge Gem. Huh. Where's this last one? There he is. Yeah, hello. Goodbye. Covering anything else? Oh, yeah, I got some weird thing like amygdala arm. Was that a weapon? Oh Shit, it was uh, I would have an amygdala of uh, arm of, of a small amygdala great one Surely speaking the amygdala arm is no trick weapon of any sort, but certain madmen wield them like clubs starts as a large tough blood weapon just from the bone and then okay What the fuck? Looks like those weird arms that would always grab me. Yeah, it's a club, all right. Oh, that's creepy. It's almost like a scythe. That's, that's weird. That's incredibly weird. What's the scale off of? Damn, C in strength. Huh. Well, maybe I'll give it a look-see later on. For now, let's keep the beast cutter. I don't want to go, uh, I'm actually going to pop a Bold Hunter's Mark. I only have two left, but I'm going to head back and then try and go ahead and, well, not try, but I think I got enough blood chunks to level up my uh, Beast Cutter a little bit more for, uh, for the next fight. So I'm going to go back to the Hunter's Dream and level up if I can, and if not, well then, shit. And then we're going to go fight the Living Failures. No. It's pretty simple, honestly. Pretty not, nothing too crazy about that. Bone marrow ash. All right, it makes the quicksilver bullets better. I imagine if I did some kind of like blood tinge build with the Gatling gun, while well, I would blow through uh, quicksilver bolts like they were nothing, it would probably be pretty fun. I'd probably like fire all my uh, quicksilver bolts and like take like a boss's health to like only like take a quarter of it down. So can I? Oh, no, I still need two more. Ah, shit. Well, let me try fortifying it instead. Is there anything new that I got? Right, like that was a special gem, like... Special... Oh, attacks versus beasts are up. Uh, anything? Nah. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is just a sim simply better what? This is a simply better. Blood attack up. Okay, slightly, slightly more damage. Nothing too crazy. Can't uh, upgrade it either. Do I have any cold brew I can like pop? No. So I guess gotta stick with these souls. Oh, wrong way. I just gotta stay with these souls and then I'm go- or damn it, souls. Blood echoes and then I'm just gonna go ahead and fight the uh, the living failures. It's not too difficult. With this extra range, it might be easier to take them out because they're so like, they kind of like stumble their way towards you and you can maybe just kind of hit them on their way through. They're also parryable. You could shoot them. 
And some cast magic though. I might go for the magic ones first compared to the god damn it, my controller keeps sliding on this table. Um and then once I do that, I'll, you know, it'll work out. These things are fucking annoying. Right, you still need brain fluid. I'll I'll find some brain fluid for you at some point. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll kill the ones that are just like big heads. That makes sense. Or maybe I'll kill the ones with the weird uh with like the IV poles. Oh, no. Alright, let's go. Let's hit it. Best of luck to me! Living failures. Not that much range. Uh, smack. It doesn't do as much range as I thought it would. Or, not as much damage as I thought it would. It's going to... Yeah, parry him. Alright, so there's like a lot of them. I'm okay, So there's one of them. I'm going to smack you with this heavy piece. Because it goes very far. That sounds like they're casting a spell. Yep, yep, yep. Ow! Oops! Oops. Whoops. I fucked up. I totally messed up. I got dunked on, like, immediately. That was- that was a, a big mistake. Oh, please don't- please- this- this boss doesn't seem that difficult. Please don't make this boss, like, the hard boss. This- that would be so dumb. I'm just gonna- I'm gonna keep trying, but that- that was- that's a little bit awkward right there. I feel- I feel kind of bad. That- that thing is weird. Oh, I forgot to move the elevator back down. Damn it! Alright. Try that again. What's my Beast Cutter's physical? So, Stake Driver is 157 plus 154. This is 155 plus 124. So, the difference in damage isn't too high. Though, at the same time, the Beast Cutter attacks way slower than the Stake Driver. I don't know. I love the the look of the I, I love the look of both, but I'm gonna use the beast cutter just because it's it's fun, and the whip gives me nice range. My only issue is the fact that I feel like I should be killing these guys fast, because if I don't kill them fast, then they're gonna keep on spawning more, and that's just a real problem. Let me see how fast I can kill this one with the stake driver alone. Well, after that, of course. So one just spawns. Let me try and just like R1 spam this thing to death. That like headbutt thing is crazy. So you do it pretty quick. Oh shit, another one just spawned. You can headbutt these. Yeah, you can just like R1 spam these things to death really fast. You also get a lot of, uh, health back. You take a lot of damage, though. I could've sworn I saw a pick up something. Oh! Acquire Blood Echoes! Okay, that one's causing- gonna be causing me problems soon. Okay. Oh shit. This is like kind of tough. There's a lot of them. Ow. So there's like spell casting ones and melee ones, it would seem. I was making another one of those big, uh. Can I oh, thank goodness I got those. I can come in vulnerable during that. That's one dead now. How about you? You see melee, yep. Alright, you are spell casting. You're spell casting too. Ow! 
Oh. Uh oh. Can I? Yeah, I was about to say, can I backstab him? What are they doing? Is this like stage two? Oh shit! They're so easy just to parry though, like, they come at you so incredibly obviously. Ow, except for that right there, that hurts. Alright, I'm having difficulty figuring out which ones are melee and not, except for this one, obviously. Um, alright, so... Crap, how do I stop this? Ah, shit! Ah, damn it. I gotta take it out with a meteor shower. <laughs> Is there a way to stop that meteor shower? I thought that maybe like trying to hit the guys that are like casting it would stop it. Or is there like no way to stop it? And I just have to like run around in a circle a lot in order to stop it. I don't know quite yet. I need to figure that out. Because the meteor shower is the only thing that's really killing me right now. Okay, I'm actually surprisingly low on blood vials right now, which is a bit sad. A little bit upsetting. Um... Hopefully I don't have to I don't have to die again to them. I need to find my blood echoes though because I dropped a lot. Okay, after I parry you. Where's my blood echoes? I died over here, didn't I? It's so hard to see the blood echoes in this area. It's like really hard to see them. Where did they all go? I have no idea where they went. This is awkward. Alright, so you're the spellcasting one. I'm gonna make you stop doing that right now. Okay, are you melee or spellcasting? You seem to be spellcasting. Or, well, you might still have that attack anyway, just because. No. I think you're melee, right? Yep. Okay. I need to find my blood echoes. I don't know where the hell they went. It's really hard to see. Oh, there they are. You are melee. I missed... Fucked up my, uh... My parry there. Go ahead, hit me, please. Hit me, please. Okay, he hit me, but that's not how I wanted it to happen. Okay, he hit me again. Ow. Okay, what the fuck? Oh, no, no, I don't want to do this! I don't want to do this! Alright, I'm going to lower on blood vials than I would like. Here we go. Got one off. That one's dead. I need to go to the spell casting one. Uh, oh, shit, you're casting something. Yep. Damn it. Well, at least it kind of stopped this thing. Are you melee or... Yep. Boink! Boink. Alright. You're almost dead. Are you melee? Maybe, I don't know. Oh, you're dead is what you are, actually. Okay! Do I just need to, like, run around the place? a blood vial. Maybe I see you start running. Melee. Okay. Ow. You're melee as well, I can tell. Even though I totally fucked that up. I thought you were going to attack me way earlier. Most of their attacks are, like, generally predictable, but... Not these ones, apparently. Ah, shit, here we go. I'm just gonna run. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Ah, ha, ha, what the hell? Why? Is there a way to stop that? I don't know how to dodge that. It just keeps on hitting me right when I'm at the end of the fight.
What the hell? That's annoying. Could have sworn I'd be all right. Uh, I don't know why I'm struggling with the living failures. They seem so simple. Just that one, like, meteor move. I don't know how to dodge it. I don't know if I just keep dodging or if I go on somebody or, or what the hell happens. I only have six blood vials now. God damn it. I never will try it again. Anyway. I might just spend souls on blood vials at this point. Maybe I'll uh, jump in there and then bold hunter mark my way out and spend it on blood vials and then head back. I don't know. Do I really need more than six blood vials though? Maybe I'll like, once I'm like about to die, maybe I'll go ahead and, and Bolt Hunter mark my way out. Maybe. We'll see. Are you the melee one? Yeah, they start off as the melee one. Okay. I just need to save as much energy or health as I possibly can. I didn't, that's not what I wanted to happen. You're spellcasting, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Stage drive just does like way more damage than the Beast Cutter right now. And I think damage is exactly what I need. Why is it just following me so closely? Wow, that tracking. Melee, ranged. Ranged. Melee. There we go. I don't know why, but okay. I wouldn't mind either, but it didn't. Oh crap, here comes the part. Okay. I'm just gonna run. Wait, these meteors seem to be RNG. They just seem to land places. Oh! So it's not about. It's not about, like, dodging them, it's- well, it is, it's just, like, legitimately dodging them, like, they come down in a certain way. Oh, shit. Interesting. So I just need to look up. Basically. I just actually need to, like, legitimately look up. So... Where are they going? Oh. What? 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 I was on the. What? Why? What the hell? Why in the world does that hit me? The fuck? That's so cheese. Don't don't laugh. I it, it gives me a shitload of arcane resistance. I feel like I'm only dying to meteors. Might as well buff myself against meteors, which is obviously arcane. So, I have like the most arcane resistance I can currently use. I'm just like. Yeah, that, that's pretty much it. That, that, that's pretty much it. It's. I know, I, lo I look dumb, but it's the best I can do. Oh, wait, I have the shield out. I'm gonna use the gun. I'm only gonna use the shield if I just had to face tank a meteor. But. Arcane resistance. Alright, first guy. First living failure, then R1 spam the fuck out of you. I don't know why I didn't get the chance to R1 spam you more, but I'm a little bit tilted. Ow! Ow! What the fuck? Thank you. Alright, now you're dead. 
I think you're melee. You're obviously spell casting, and you're about to fire those bolts at me, which are not very fun at all. Are you melee? No, you're not actually. There we go. Just got a backstab off. Oh, I did a lot more damage than I thought it would. Oh, whoops, Daisy. One just spawns. You are not melee, but you can do melee attacks like that one. They think you do two of them so quickly. A little bit awkward right here. Burning through more blood vials than I would have preferred. Okay, don't know why I didn't parry you with that one. Oh, my blood echoes. Oh, I just thought about that. I think, aren't you like really low? Oh my, are you kidding me? Come on! Why the hell? What the fuck? Fucking living failures, dude. What the hell? They're not even that hard. They're just, I'm just getting fucking cheesed. It's like getting womboed by either meteors or this time. It's uh, just, oh, uh, come on. This tilts me. It's, that's so dumb. Why the hell it's happening like that? I wonder when they're casting something, if I can get a fully charged off right, uh, right trigger pull with the, um, stake driver. I don't know. Maybe. Fucking living failures, man. Why in the world? Why in the world? I put on arcane resistance just so I could not die from the meteors and I immediately get killed by by stun locked on non-meteors. I'm I'm tilted. I'm like really tilted. I just want to kill these things and get on with it. The beast card has too little damage and not enough knockback. The stake driver I can just like deal with face tanking for the time being. Just because I can. Yeah, I can parry. The spell casting one, I think, right? Yep. And then I can just do that. I thought that would kill me for a second. I got really scared. Alright, that one dies pretty easily. Alright, we'll get a good start. There we go. So you're obviously a melee living failure. Oh, that was so lucky. I didn't think I'd be able to get that one off in time. Fuck, dude. There's so many of them. Alright, you're obviously melee, so can you, like, hit me? Thank you. There we go. You, you're obviously melee. Or not. Or maybe you are, I just fucked it up. Can I maybe, like, do this while the meteors are coming down on me? Okay, it happened again. I didn't have my shield out that time. But I'm alive! That's what matters, right? Okay. Alright, yep. I don't know. I, well, I don't know why I thought you were melee, but you are no doubt melee. What the hell? Okay, here we go again. Live. Oh, blood echoes. Oh, I, I took the shield out. That's not 
that one dead. Okay. Okay, this one, I'm, I'm having lock-on difficulties. Okay, shield up. I'm blocking. I'm blocking, motherfuckers. I'm blocking, all right. Wow! That does so little damage! Except for that last one. Holy shit, that was so worth. Why wasn't I doing that, like, years ago? Okay. There we go, that's another one. There can't be many left. There we go. Please don't make the cosmos again. Or what looks like a space, I don't know what the fuck it is. God damn it. This is gonna hurt. Oh no, I'm okay. Come on, buddy. Oh, I thought I'd be able to end the fight off of you. Oh, I can end it off of you, though. Maybe? Why was that so dumb? Why was that so difficult? That shouldn't have been that hard at all. That, why? 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 That, that was... <sighs> I just feel like I got cheesed the entire fight. I'm tilted. I'm tilted even after winning that fight. I don't know why. Just... Man... Fucking... I don't know. Astral Clock Tower to keep... A clock tower. Alright, so I'm gonna go back and spend my souls real quick. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. <sighs> I must have. What is it? No, you were standing. Very well. What? That's weird. Okay. Okay. Uh, a more into strength makes the beast cutter a little bit better. And then the rest of my souls. Eh, what should I do with them? Can I? Uh, Sorry, do I, do I have enough blood chunks to upgrade the beast cutter again, or no? No, I don't. Eh. I don't have souls for anything else. I'm just gonna buy blood, uh, blood vials, maybe. I feel like I'll need some. 20 blood vials. That's fine with me. Alright. Back to the beast cutter, and I can get out of this stupid clothing. There we go. Back into that. Oh, hold on, I look fancy as fuck with that on. Is there anything that fits with that really well? <laughs> uh... Oh, I gotta try that one. Nah, whatever. Kinda like that, but nah. Oh, wrong one. Uh, it was uh, Old Hunter Garb, right? Yeah, there we go. And then the pants were, um... That looks about right. Wait, was that right? Yeah, it's about right. Alright, there we go. Back to the good old days. Okay. Now that I've bought my blood vials and, uh, all that shit, I'm gonna head back to Lumenwood Garden. And do whatever's next. <laughs>